Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Zheng Shuping. Today, my case is about a severe cloud indentation complicated by missing molars. It didn't work. Here is her major problem, a 40 millimeter long uh, indenturous ridge. Conventionally, for this, this condition, usually a long span bridge will, will do. Of nowadays, two imprints is indicated. But when we took all dentition into consideration, it's the best way for her. How about this way? I think most of us here, we should, uh, we like the uh, one imprint better than two and the uh, regular dentition. We compare these two illustrations. Yes, the right side is much better. Okay, let's start from the beginning. The young lady came for consultation with his major concern is she, uh, her chief complaint is she didn't know what to do because someone told her the imprint is her rescue. But someone told her orthodontic treatment is the only thing she needs. Let's check his uh, data from extraoral photos. The profile is good. The molar is close to relationship. The mean line is off and deep back. The lower left area has missing tooth. From the occlusal view, the left lateral incisor is blocking and lower right crowded and two missing teeth in lower left area. Fortunately, her third molar is, exists. So, our treatment plan for her is we extract three bicuspid and close all of the space remaining. But patient refused to extract any more teeth in the lower arch. Meanwhile, the patient was informed if we cannot close all of the space, especially the lower left area, Processes might be necessary in the future. About the treatment progress, in the first day of bonding, we place a coil spring between the central incisor and canine. And the canine with a used power chain lets back to mini school. Oh, by the way, the mini school is ins inserted before she came to the clinic <laughs> by prior dentist. And in the fourth, in the fourth month, the, the lateral incisor was bounded with low torque bracket and engaged into main wire. And how long will it take to too well aligned. Actually, it only took seven months. It's quite efficient mechanics. How about the lower right side? In the seven months of treatment, a coil spring is applied between first molar and first bicuspid. But in the following eight months, no much progress. So how long will it take to become aligned. Actually, it only took two months. So what is the key? The key is we place a coil spring and then we use double wire technique. One more, we place a, a cross elastic. For the most challenging part, a crimp hook 
is applied on the main wire and hooked with power chain. Later, the mini screw, uh, later the coil spring and the elastic was applied. So, what happened? Actually, the long span, the long indentures ridge was reduced from 40 millimeter to 8 millimeter, but it took 31 months. It's quite a long time. Actually, for now, it's already more than 14 months since mounting. So, after discussion with patient, we decided to stop the projection. And here is the final result. On the right side, the occlusion is stable. The mean line is deviation, a lower is deviation, un unsurprisingly. And the left, left side, the occlusion is compromised. For the occlusion view, all irregular teeth is well aligned. And the space is reduced. Not, not completely, but much better than before. For the safe tracing, the more I extrude and the anterior teeth is flared with no significant, significant skeletal change, the, profile, the good profile is maintained. So let's go back to the procedure. Why take so long? After we review her data, we found one thing. The molar tube. I believe the tip back molar is the major reason make the tooth movement so slow. So let's continue to the next step. For the remaining indenture space, I think a bridge and implant is indicated. For save more time and budget and less invasive, bridge is a, is a good choice. But patient decides to have implant to preserve the adjacent tools and good oral hygiene care. In this area, we took, the, uh, we took 3D images. The bone volume here, the width is 5.8 millimeter and the height is 13.6 millimeter. So we decided to use 4 plus 11.5 millimeter fixture here. Such cost then is quite important. We use such cost then to guide a medial medial distal and buccolingual position and exo, exo incarnation as well. We, for, prim, uh, for better primary stability, we insert the screw more lingually, as you see here, and sutured. Fixed tenor is quite important, especially it's important for this area, especially for orthodontic treatment cases. Because even, even slightly relapse would, would make the processes of fabrication difficult. Three months later, we took off the retainer and heating cap. In the coping trying procedure, we found that the interocrucial space is not enough. The ideal thickness for the positive fused to mental crown is 1.25 mm. There are several ways to deal with it. We can train the abutment or train the antagonist or intrude the antagonist in the orthodontic stage, or we may choose screw retained type. 
Here is the delivery photo. From this photo, the fixture angulation is good. Margin is fit, but exposed. Why? Let's go back to the surgical step. In the surgical step, we took adjacent tooth as reference. But according to 2B3D rule, 3 mm below the cervical contour of final crown is indicated, is recommended. The difference here explain why the margin is exposed. So please keep in mind the cervical contour of, fin of final processes is, is the indicator, not, not the CEJ of adjacent tooth. Let's evaluate the result. For, uh, for the DI score, this case total score is 18. It majorly comes from the clouding dentition. For the most challenging area, it takes only two. For CRE, because the asymmetry, asymmetry tooth in lower dentition, the occlusal relationship is not ideal. But we lost lots of points in alignment and marginal reach. I think it, it can be it can be improved if we take an impression one month prior to bonding and change some break position. And the total score is 24. For the pink aesthetic, the gingiva is harmony and healthy. But for the white aesthetic, the exo incarnation and tooth proportion is less than ideal, as you can see here. So when, when you check the comparative table, the case is passed. So let's go, go over again. Here is the before situation and after. Today one I want to share with everyone here is also orthodontic treatment we combine with implant to bring us into a new vision. As a dentist nowadays is quite lucky. The best thing is we have much thing to learn. The worst thing is we have too much to learn. Sorry. Thank you for your attention.